on the golf cart, Gray? With Brookie? Hi guys, we're back on the golf cart, which means we are back in Toledo. This time it is for the wedding. It's almost here. Um, we came in a couple days early to help Allison um, get everything ready and Gray needed a haircut from my dad. Anthony's driving in tonight. My dad was able to pick us up in the airplane. I got footage of that, which I will input here. out uh, we're gonna go meet up with family tonight to kind of kick off the celebrations we're gonna go see my cousins and celebrate my brother is turning 20 tomorrow uh, we can't really do much celebrating because he hi Kate because um, we have the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner on his birthday um, but we're gonna celebrate tonight we've made a cake and we all got him presents so we're gonna celebrate my presents should be coming in today I got him some stuff off Amazon so I need to wrap it but yeah so you're in Toledo we're riding on the golf cart um, it's beautiful weather here it's summer 80s um, partly cloudy so we're having a great time I hope to record as much as I can you want to go see the tractor okay I hope to record as much as I can, um, but I am going to be busy. I am the matron of honor in this wedding, so I'm not making any promises, but we'll see how it goes, and I will keep you guys updated. We are setting up a couple days before the wedding. We're getting ready. Got all of the stuff we're setting up. <laughs> I'm very excited. So you come in, there's the bar, the dance floor, the head table, all the tables. Here's all the decorations. It's gonna look so cute. We're at my cousin's house. Gray's in the pool swimming. And the dogs are playing. And the cousins are talking. At the nail salon, getting our nails done. We see your nails. I got a vlog. Put it up on wow, your wedding. Wow. You'll, you'll be YouTube famous. <laughs> yeah, we're all getting our nails done. <laughs> Ryan. Grammy. We're at the rehearsal at the church. Happy birthday, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the rehearsal dinner. Lots of fun, lots of alcohol, <laughs> desserts. Hi! <laughs> Tables. We got gifts. It was a great time. We're all ready for the wedding tomorrow. What if I just did like that? Straight ponytail. Then why am I paying? Let me see, Kelly. What if I did that? I'm done. 
got my makeup done. Hey guys, so I did a little bit of narrating for this video, but I just wanted to just talk about the wedding day for a second. I didn't get much recorded, which not a shocker. I mean, I was very busy that whole day. We had the wedding. I was a matron of honor. So I was able to get us um, at the hair salon. The day previously, we went to the nail salon. We had to wear masks because of coronavirus. Um, and so we wore masks to the nail salon. We all got our nails and toes done. I got a pink uh, sparkly color on my toes and then just like a French manicure on my nails. Allison did a French on her nails as well, but she got some sparkles put in it. So that was really fun. Um, and yeah, everybody got like some shade of like light pink or pinkish color. So that was really fun. After that, we went to, um, lunch with just the girls. Uh, we went to my dad's restaurant. If you guys didn't know, my dad owns, um, Scramblers. It's just a breakfast lunch joint. They're mostly in Ohio. And so we went and had lunch there and that was fun. Then we um, helped set up for the rehearsal dinner, which was uh, at another location of my dad's restaurant. And um, we went to the church and we did the rehearsal at the church. That went off well. And then uh, afterwards we went to the rehearsal dinner. It's always a fun tradition in my family when we do rehearsal dinners. Um, of course you eat and you all get together, but we um, like people to give toasts during the rehearsal dinner. You don't have to, but um, people just, it just breaks up the evening, gives people something to do. And so everybody uh, that wanted to gave toast, which was awesome. I was not expecting to give a toast, but um, my sister Kelly ended up giving one. And so then I had to give one and me being pregnant, my hormones were just all over the place. And I just like cried the whole time giving my speech. So it was, I was a hot mess. It was terrible. Anyway, we finished that, went to bed, then woke up the next day, and it was the wedding. So we got our hair done. We had to wear face masks in the hair salon, um, but that was the only time we had to wear face masks the whole day, so that wasn't bad. And we ended up um, getting hair and makeup done. So, of course, after you get your makeup done, you can't keep the face mask on. Otherwise, it'll ruin your makeup. After the makeup, we, we could take our masks off, which was really nice. Um, I got fake eyelashes put on, which I think I've only ever gotten that done like maybe once or twice before. I really liked it, although it felt really weird. Like, I am a really minimal person with makeup. I really don't do it ever. Same with hair. So that was really fun. I got my hair all up. I just hate having my hair down. My hair does not stay curly. If I want to curl it, it just like ends up becoming wavy and I'd just rather have it all up and not have to deal with it. And it was hot that day. It was like 90s, I think. It was really, really hot. So we went and got our hair done and makeup done. Then we went to the church and uh, we got ready in the basement and the boys got ready um, behind the um, uh, altar and, um, we, my sister got married in a Catholic church and then they had their reception at a country club that was a little, well, like a half hour drive from the church. So we had the ceremony. It was great. It was long. It was a Catholic ceremony. So very long. Grayson actually walked all the way down the aisle. I was so proud of him. I was so scared that he wasn't going to. Originally, we had Grayson just walking by himself, but then we realized he probably wouldn't walk by himself. So then they switched it and had me walk him down the aisle and he did great. Um, and then my mom took him and then Anthony's parents basically like watched Grayson that whole weekend because Anthony and I were both in the wedding. And so we had things to do. We couldn't watch him. So it was really nice that they were able to take care of Grayson. Um, after the ceremony, we took pictures at the church and got those done. Um, then we went to a local park um, and took some pictures outside. It was super hot, super, super hot. 
Um, and I, ha I had worn like these closed toed shoes and they were killing me. So I had to change shoes by the time we got to the reception. We got to the reception and it was a super fun party. Um, lots of drinks going around of course none for me we had speeches we had dances we had lots of dancing on the dance floor it was awesome um the food was good they ended up having a um, ice cream bar which was super yummy they had a photo booth they had midnight pizza which was really great um and so we had a really great time partying and celebrating them um, and then um, I ended up driving them to the Detroit airport um, because they had a flight to catch the next morning. They um, went on a honeymoon to Jamaica uh, to an all-inclusive resort. So they had a lot of fun there, um, but it was super late at night. I think I didn't get home until like 1 or 2 a.m. I was so tired, um, but Anthony came with me in the car and kept me company. Um, but overall, it was just, it was a great day. If you know anything with weddings, they go way too fast. You blink and they're over, especially after um, planning for as long as you do. It was a great day. Sunny, no rain, uh, but very hot. No humidity though, so that wasn't too bad. But yeah, it was just a busy day, a fun day, um, but I think we're all glad that it's over and we don't have to stress about it anymore. Um, it was super stressful with coronavirus, but thankfully it went off without a hitch and everything went great. Um, and so now we get to look forward to the next wedding, which would be my brother. Um, he is the third oldest in my family, so I'm married. My sister Allison is the second oldest. She just got married and now Philip is engaged and is going to get married next year, next August. They already have a date. They have a venue. They're going to get married in a church. So we've got it all figured out. So they're just now starting the wedding planning process. He proposed um, in uh, December of, of last year. So go back to that vlog. I have it in a vlog. But yeah, so now we have another wedding. Me and my other two sisters are bridesmaids in the wedding. Um, Anthony is not a groomsman, so he gets to take this wedding off, but that just means he has to watch the kids. Um, I will be very happy to be able to drink during this um, wedding and bachelorette party and everything because I will not be pregnant. <laughs> so it'll be, I'll be able to enjoy everything and drink and it'll be a great time. But it was a great day for my sister's wedding. I'm so um, happy with um, how it all turned out. Um, I love her husband, Garrett. He's a great guy. He and Anthony get along awesome. And so, um, yeah, it was a great day. Just wanted to let you guys know, because I didn't record it very much, which I knew that was gonna happen. But I did pretty good leading up to it, but. Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. Make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!